Welcome back to Break Me Up Scotty and this is Scotty and you're in for a treat for today because we're looking at, I have no idea what this is called. There's so many variations and names online. I didn't even know there was a name for it. Apparently this is Potter's Corner, like Harry Potter. Potter's Corner or Dream Entrepreneurship Studio. Now, this one is from Leffin. We all love, well, actually we all hate them, right? But kudos for Leffin for trying to do something different and new. This one's fairly new, if I'm not mistaken. I think it came around, I think it came out summertime of this year, 2017. On paper, the set looked amazing. I saw it, I'm like, oh, God, got to just get it and just build it anyway and add it onto my modular city set. Exterior, this thing looks awesome. Like there's no, I, I, I'm building it going, this is so fun to build. Now, seriously, I'm looking at this on the camera monitor and it actually looks really good. It's not too shabby. It's got like a, it's got a lot of stuff going on here. It's got the corner, it's got the backside. Got to give him something for at least trying to be original and not try to be a copycat this time. But it's a real mixed bag for me. It's like sometimes I really love just looking at it. Once I start opening it, I really hate it. So on the front here on the tower, you got this crazy ass brick design going on with some pieces are like totally offset or smooth, it's not rough. These are like supposed to be like that. This is following exactly what I'm following in the manual. There's some pieces that are missing. The flower pot here on the side, at least you have like this little balcony area here, which is pretty okay. And on the bottom, you have something that says L car there, the L car. I hate the R. The R is so off, this little piece is loose. You can actually pull that out. It's just, should have thought of something different for that. But, you know, it's a leopard. And the seats are just kind of sitting there. They're, they're, not really, they're not really locked in place, so prepare to lose those. Okay, and then now we have here a back, a little alley thing here going on. And this is, this is where the magic happens. It's a really weird design. I don't know. They, it's like they crammed so much stuff into one modular building. They're just like, we gotta use, take advantage of every little thing here. The alleyway inside here is the only way to, for the minifigures to access each floor. There's a little lever that barely works. It pops off really easy. But that back alley is actually an elevator. I can't even get this thing up. That's how stuck it is, man. Like the pieces are like almost too perfect to fit. Look, I'm almost getting, oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, got, almost got it popped up. I probably should take off the, the set to see it. So the back alley leads to this thing here. Now this thing is supposed to be an elevator, but guess what? Can't get in there. Minifigures cannot get in. You have to use magic to get in. So this is a really weird design. I'm really sorry, but this just does not make any sense to me. There's no door. Take that out, put a door on there. And even if you go to each floor, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to pull this thing up. It's, it will come off every single time. I'm gonna put that on the side there. So after the alleyway, you got here the, the Potter corner. They just used leftover Harry Potter stuff. I don't know why, there's a wizard shop here. But anyway, there's the main door. This is actually really cool. I do like how it kind of is different, you know? You don't usually, you don't see a lot of this happening where it will break the wall down, look like, I don't know what, but it's cool, I like that. Over here, you got something that looks like the, the barber shop. And I believe it's an ice cream store. I'm gonna show you guys inside that in a second. It's time to dissect this thing and hope it doesn't fall apart. Okay, it already feels like it's gonna fall apart. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got it off in one piece. First floor usually is the best floor for pretty much all the sets that I've seen so far. And there's a lot of moving stuff going on in here. So on the first floor here, a car repair shop. There's a lot of moving parts here. They have the wheel thing that's supposed to sit on a shelf and it never fits on here. It just keeps falling off. There's no way it can fit on there. You gotta use blue tack or something. Interior is really cool. And there's all this stuff in here that's actually fun to look at. This is probably, I think this one and maybe one of the other sets on the second floor or the rooms is like my favorite from the set. So I'm looking at the, the one that I enjoy. So that's why I like talking about it. Cool thing is, wow. Now we don't have to dig our hands on the, through the top. We can open the door here on the modular side and take a look inside. You have some boxes here, you know, with like spare tires for repairing your car. You know, maybe Harry Potter would drive his car here and get it fixed, but there you go. And you got this tire rack with the tires on it, which is pretty cool too. Trash can, shelving, a lot of small details, and you got this car rack thing here. I guess the car goes in here and gets lifted up and gets repaired, but it's non-functional, it doesn't work here. It would've actually been really cool if they figured out how to use the stupid elevator and figured out how to make a lever and make the thing go up so you can actually look like you're repairing the car. But this, you know what? I only have, the only car I have here right now is the Christmas one that we did. Can it fit? Oh, it's gonna hit the top. Oh, I hit the presents. 
Well, that's a fail. It doesn't really fit in there anyway. So there you go. That's the car shop. That's probably my favorite one. I love the wall design. I do like how they have like all the tools there. Uh, you have milk. I have no idea why you would have milk in there. I love milk myself, so. And one thing you'll notice in the set is they overkill it with the studs. Like, you can fit a minifigure on almost every other tile set. Some of the sets have none, but this one actually like overkilled it. Now we're looking at the wizardry corner. And it looks like a cashier for buying wizardry stuff. We got potions, we got books, we got Harry Potter there. We got a special wand in the display case. And you got the three owls looking out the window and tons and tons of single studs. Is that what they call them studs, right? If I'm wrong, just correct me on that, but they're way too many. It irritates me, it irritates the design. It's not, not like a floor tile. Just stick to a floor tile and get it over with. So easy. And then here, they did another thing here, which I didn't really think they had to, but they made another door right there. Now we can see inside this ice cream shop. There's all your vanilla and your chocolate, whatever you want, and enough room for four minifigs. Everything's super tight on this thing. There's no room to maneuver. Look, how many people can fit in this wizardry shop? Like, realistically, no one. Anyway, let's move on. I got lots more to complain about. Let's go to the second floor. We'll take out. This comes off in three sections. One, two, three. This one sucked. We'll come back to that. Second floor. I don't even know the words to describe what what I feel about the second floor. When I saw the back of the box, I'm, I kind of saw like one place that had a big tree and I'm like, oh, this kind of looks cool. But now that I've built it and see it, I just don't get it. Like, okay, so it's a coffee shop. The tree is cool. I like how they have put the tree inside. That's a, that's a cool idea. I hate the floors. It's that thing again. They just put like so many circular parts on there, like studs and studs and more studs and studs. Damn, that's a lot of studs, man. The table falls apart really easy. I hate the tables. If they just had the regular floor tiles and just put a simple table, it would have been so much easier. And you could still go nuts on the other designs. Curtains are really cheaped out to me. They just use single blocks to like make it look like a curtain. They put a little door here that actually doesn't lead to anywhere. It's just a door. You can't even fit, you can barely fit a figure back there. I feel, whoever working behind this counter, I feel so sorry for. And on the inside here where the elevator comes up, they actually made a door from the elevator that has no door, so you know. Good job, good job on that one. And they made, the t at least they tiled this room. But the problem here is that they made it all single tiles and it just looks weird from like a long distance. Not my thing either. This is like a magic potion room thing going on. They have a waterfall, they have a treasure chest, some books, and they have a table and more books. And there's one area here that really sucks because it's like, there's no way a minifig can get into the next room. They, they blocked it off. It's like too tight. They put too much stuff in here. They over, I think they overthunk it, whoever did this. You like Harry Potter? Go for it. Yeah, this is probably the only other room that I really like. And they actually made a little mini castle and the display and you can't really go close to it. But that's actually really cool. I like that. I don't know if they've done that in any Harry Potter sets, but that to me is actually pretty dope. Pretty cool stuff. And let's look at the rooftop, the individual pieces. I have no words for this either. This is just a box, a random. Look at this water tower. They didn't even have the piece that was long enough. It's like, it's supposed to be like a floating water tower. Did I build it wrong? If you guys have it, did I do this wrong? I'm not sure. It's copying the barber shop too. Barbershop one was long enough. So I think I think they misplaced those. Yeah, I don't know. We'll put that there. Then you got this piece that was on top of the ice cream store that was on top of the Harry Potter display. Rooftop comes off. There we go. So you have here on the side, you have a ladder. And you have a very, very small, very, very small study room. It does have a working ladder like that. Man, they probably got the positioning of this wrong too. Yeah, blocks the door there. Another silly design. It was cool, but then it doesn't really work in, in motion. There we go, and then we go to the last rooftop. Whatever this thing is on the top, it's actually act more of a handle because this is the only way to get the rooftop off. It's a bedroom. And look, way more single studs. And you have a door here that goes to the, the most smallest balcony I've ever seen. You got your typical bookshelves, two-seater, and then you got a really small bedroom. Bed right to the floor. They could have made a little bit nicer bed, but I think they're so crammed they had nowhere, no, what they didn't know where else to put. They didn't know what to put there. Okay, we'll put this all back. 
This piece doesn't really fit on that well. It's very, very loose. It's not going to sit down tight on this. It will just keep popping off. Last but not least, on the bottom here, you have the mounts for the modular buildings that down here on the bottom. But then you can't use these functioning doors, man. So what do I think of this set? Pretty from the outside, a little frustrating on the inside. I think they overkilled it a little bit. They should have just stuck with one theme where they're just all Harry Potter. And get rid of the car shop, all the other stuff probably would have fit there nicely. And then I don't know what happened here. It's like they ran out of, of space for here. This is where the minifigures goes to die. All right, let's look at the minifigs. They have so many minifigures that come with each set. It's gonna take me time to look through them, so I'll just show you guys here. Let's see what we got. We got the chef. He's got this weird stain on his mouth. You got this guy who looks like he's about to throw up. You got this woman who just doesn't look right. You got this other woman who, no offense, but you know, maybe these two are lovers. Something looks wrong with these minifigures. Their hairs just don't look right. It's all off. Did I put the hairs on wrong? Probably. But anyway, this one looks like your typical Lego minifigures. It's this beard. What is this beard thing going on with these guys? It looks weird. They look sloppy. So there you have it, this really weird, weird set. I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't even know how to grade it. If I graded it from the outside, I would probably give it like a seven out of 10. From the inside, I'd give it like maybe three or four out of 10. Rooftop, I'd give like a one. Elevator, I'd give like a one. Okay, so there you go. One of the weirdest sets that is kind of all over the place. But anyway, there you go. This is the wizardry, potter corner, whatever you want to call it. And these guys are going to go into their little elevators. Let's see how many minifigs can we fit in here. Can we fit three? Oh, we can only fit two. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys later. These guys are going to go into the elevator, and they're going to go straight to hell. So please subscribe, like, and comment, and all that other good stuff. And I'll get you more videos soon. Take care, guys. Break me out, Scotty. Boot. Like I said, first floor, best floor, a lot of s**t. I don't know if I should cut this one up. This is where the minifigures go to die. No, but seriously, that was a joke. That was a really bad joke.